it was disappointing that the uh, response from Qatar uh, was uh, totally devoid of any substance and was a uh, denial mm -hmm. of uh, uh, taking any steps or measures that would uh, uh, respond to the legitimate requests of the four countries. Uh, what are the options? What happens next? Well, we will uh, consider and deliberate and uh, decide on uh, further measures uh, that uh, would uh, encourage the Qatari government to change its policy in terms of uh, supporting terrorists, uh, harboring uh, terrorist persons uh, on its territory, uh, continuing to provide arms uh, to uh, radical organizations. Uh, and uh, we uh, believe that this is in conformity with the international coalition against uh, Daesh and against ISIS. The Minister of State for Foreign Affairs here in the UAE tweeted this this morning. Next, greater isolation incremental measures and reputational damage stemming from, uh, stemming from Doha's continued support for extremism and terrorism. He said for any real discussion with Doha to gain traction, it has to be responsible for past actions and recognize the necessity of changing course. Qatar can't miss the bus, he said. What did he mean by that? Uh, Qatar needs to show through policies, through uh uh, measures that uh, it is uh, relinquishing uh, previous practices of support of radicalism and terrorist organizations and uh, the uh, interjection in the internal affairs of uh, the states in the region and we see the level of uh, uh, damage, the level of uh, human suffering that has uh, been associated to interventions by Qatar in Syria, in uh, Libya and uh, the heavy price that Egypt has to play in, in the loss of life, mm. uh, civilian life, and that of its military and police force, uh, women and children, uh, the last instance being the uh, tragic events of uh, the Egyptian Christians uh, on their way to the monastery for prayers uh, that were targeted so brutus, brutally by uh, terrorist organizations. Uh, the, the terrorist organizations, wherever mm. they operate, are one unit and one uh, uh, supporting uh, entities and uh, any form of support to them uh, at any level is a direct uh, affront to our security and that of our citizens. Foreign Minister, are you accusing the Qataris of being involved in, uh, in that attack? We are accusing the Qataris of supporting radical organizations and terrorist organizations and we've always indicated that uh, a true response to terrorism must be comprehensive. We cannot deal with uh, one organization and uh, uh, neglect the other. That all of these organizations uh, are reinforcing to each other and we have seen and have monitored and have evidence related to the uh, activities and the cooperation that exists between various uh, organizations operating both in the Middle East and in Africa and, and in Europe. Is the group uh, accusing them of um, supporting extremism and terrorism, the group that you belong to, prepared to share that intelligence with the Qataris and with the rest of the world? Well, as I'm sure you're aware, and this is the case uh, with most states, uh, among them uh, the United States of America, when issues uh, related to intelligence and to sources uh, are dealt with within appropriate channels and are dealt with uh, great sensitivity to protect uh, sources mm. and to protect uh, the uh, information and uh, its collection process. We only have one motivation, and that is to, uh, for Qatar to change course and to desist from uh, the destabilizing activity it has been perpetrating over the last uh, 10 to 20 years. President Trump spoke with the Egyptian president on Tuesday and called on all parties to negotiate constructively to resolve this dispute. The sort of language coming out from both sides sounds, uh, with respect, anything but constructive at this point. What role the Americans in helping mediate this? Well, we uh, are, of course, in close uh, uh, contact with the United States of America. Uh, President Trump's uh, indications during his participation in the American Arab Islamic Summit in Riyadh and in uh, our direct uh, communications with, uh, with the President and his administration has always uh, led us uh, to rely on the President's firm commitment to eradicating uh, terrorism and radicalism. Mm from the world and in do so uh, through uh, very constructive and, and definite measures. And uh, yesterday's conversation reiterated that same policy and we look forward to continuing to cooperate closely with the United States and our uh, other international partners to uh, the full eradication of terrorism.
On the demands uh, from the, the quartet uh, to shut down Al Jazeera, um, the Qatari FM told CNN there's not a chance AJ will be shut down. He said out of the question. Um, supported by the UN Special Rapporteur, of course, for freedom of expression and opinion, who said the move uh, would be a blow against media pluralism in the Middle East. Um, this is an organization that, quite frankly, Egypt has a checkered history with. Is this still a demand? And, and do you aspire to see a free and healthy press across the Middle East? So I, I would think that uh, you uh, would be more uh, attuned to the fact that uh, all uh, freedom of expression is uh, somehow uh, guided by uh, certain uh, moral principles which have to be uh, applied, uh, that there are uh, restrictions, uh, there are uh, uh, areas uh, like pedophilia, like uh, other uh, uh, issues that uh, are not provided uh, uh, the uh, opportunity to, mm. to air and to be uh, uh, constant. You, neither should there be any tolerance for uh, uh, hate and uh, agitation and, and the projection of uh, terrorists uh, and terrorist activities uh, in any manner uh, uh, that uh, uh, creates uh, sympathy for these organizations or for this ideology. Uh, if we are uh, uh, true to our determination to eradicate terrorism, we must eradicate the ideology that is unfortunately on many occasions and in a sublime uh, manner being projected by uh, media outlets in Qatar. So uh, I think we all know uh, how uh, that uh, broadcast organization has been taking advantage of its outreach and uh, how it has been uh, projecting and uh, glorifying terrorist activities. Uh, most recently, they aired uh, a piece about snipers uh, shooting uh, Egyptian soldiers uh, at their posts, guarding their posts. Uh, I wonder whether that is not a glorification of uh, activities that I think should be uh, deplored. So when you hear the Qatari FM in a speech at Chatham House on Tuesday say the following, above all, and unlike many states in the Middle East, Qatar was not built on oppression, fear and censorship, you say what? Well, I, I would uh, refer you to uh, uh, whether there have been any elections in, in Qatar, whether the uh, leadership of Qatar is elected, whether there are uh, elected institutions of governance, uh, as is in Egypt and in, in other countries. I believe uh, we have to be uh, realistic when we uh, discuss issues of this and, and not try to project uh, a false sense of uh, the status quo.